hey there scorpios and welcome back for another weekend love vibes love vibes love vibes scorpios welcome back for another but let's set the en energy in here welcome back for another scorpio weekend love vibes shout out to everybody who was able to join me on the live the other day i had such an amazing time with you guys Thank you for showing up. That's why you have to make sure you hit your notification bell to all so that anytime I do a pop-up live reading or you have a new uploaded video, you will be the first to know. Shout out to you. You are the real MVPs over here, Scorpios. Uh, my highly favorite, my members. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Scorpios. Welcome back for another beautiful, amazing, amazing, I said amazing, reading for Scorpios. Now, I don't know what these tarot cards going to look at, look like, but your Oracle cards is on fleek. So it seems like now remember Scorpio, this is a general, it's not going to resonate for everyone. Shout out. Th this video is being d done on Saturday, July the 15th, 2023. And Boosie is supposed to be here. So I might go. <laughs> I N D E P E N D E N T. Was and doesn't that mean she got her own house? She got her own cars. Real flag. Mm, she got a mm, 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 mm. smell real good. It's the good jug. Cause leaving the club kind of early cause she gotta go to work. <laughs> I got independent Scorpios on my mind. Don't bother me. <laughs> Yes, and I'm thinking about going out there and get crunk too. <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? Boosie or Scorpio, FYI, I'm just saying now. Boosie got some nice, I don't know about that other part. Now, you know we all are Scorpios. You know we got that that dark side and that light side of us, but that that raunchy, null inside, I-N-D-E-P-E-E. Hey, I love it. Okay. <laughs> Judge me. It don't matter. But I, I kind of like that little raunchy, uh, uh, Nolan's type of, um, uh, hot boys energy. I, I like the era of the hot boys energy, juvenile, webby, uh, Boosie, Lil Wayne, Birdman. You know, when they first came out, man, man, now, man, <laughs> they took it by storms and I hate to get off, but I'm just saying, and I'm 51 and I'm still telling you. So it's just like th that era. It was such a, a hot boy, uh, 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 I mean, it was just, it was just a beautiful energy. It was just a beautiful energy. Everybody was at the club kicking it and you know what, no mess happening. And everybody was just in there popping off, you know? And so Arkansas always shows Boosie love. And I don't hear, I don't ever, I don't ever, ever recall hearing any type of negative incident that happens when Boosie comes. It's all love for Boosie here. We love Boosie here. What our country says, we love us some Boosie. So uh, shout out to Boosie uh, coming to Arkansas. Arkansas uh, uh, in this thing, uh, Little Rock, Arkansas, that is. So check it out. We're tapping into your uh, Kipper energy, Scorpios. And some of you guys have this deep yearning or this deep longing or this deep knowing because knowing can make a yearning in your energy, but you have expectations here. So it's almost like you're waiting on something here. Now you may be waiting on something to manifest in your life, Scorpio, and I feel like it's about to happen. It's almost like your patience is about to pay off, Scorpio. Whatever you have been setting your intentions on and you have been waiting for it, I feel like it's coming because some of you guys are going to be set up in a very, very lavish way. Some of you guys are going to go from this, this regular, uh, you know, this, this common type of energy to this, I feel like it's not the empress energy, but it's, it's kind of like the first lady energy with this privileged lady energy. Some of you guys are about to get a chance to be pampered because even with this privileged lady, there is that empress energy because she's privileged. She ain't breaking no nails. She ain't breaking no sweats. L look at her. She, look, she, she, she looks good all the time. Now, even though it says privileged lady, we're talking about Scorpio. So I don't need you male Scorpios in the comment section talking about we need to hit the men. Uh, put it where it resonates, okay? Now, I appreciate my masculine energies, but it just so happened that I have predominantly feminine energy here. And that's okay, too. So 
if I don't always say he, she, he, she, he, 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 then just know it's about the Scorpio here. You're going to have to put yourself where it fits. And if you find a problem doing that, then maybe just not your reading. And I mean that respectfully here, because uh, I may not remember every time to say, OK, now you mean Scorpio. Nah, 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 nah. So for all Scorpios, even though it says privileged lady, we're pulling energy. This is Scorpio's reading. You're about to go. I'm not going to say from rags to riches, but something, something is changing in your finances here. See, because spirits say it is your destiny. It is your journey. It has been all a part of your divine plan and your divine journey in this pathway here. See there, see Scorpio, you may have been on this journey and everything has seemed so dark and gloomy where you feel like you couldn't see your way out, but your way has always been lit for you. Your way has already been created. See, you're walking into the sun. I'm walking on sunshine. Oh, and don't it feel good all right now? Scorpio, you're about to feel good. Ain't that you? Is that a person where that's something? Look, look, look at that. Look how the universe has it lit. Look, look, look at the universe is guiding you towards your destiny. Scorpio. Look at those butterflies. You're going through a major transformation in your life. Some of you guys is finances and career. It, look, look at all those butterflies. See, ain't that your energy transformation? Even the, your transformation is part of your path and your journey. During your path and your journey, there's going to be transformations here, Scorpios, to bring you to your higher self side, to bring you to your destiny. Because I feel like for some of you Scorpios or for whoever it is for, your destiny consists of wealth, great fortune. See, that's right next to the privileged lady. Right next to the privileged lady, you have great fortune. So like I say, there could be a yearning in your energy, um, a, a expectation because you've been manifesting here. So it's almost like th this is serving as a confirmation for you. So if you've been feeling like something good is about to happen for you in the form of money, uh, elevation in your job, your career, your finances, you have right cause to believe that way. Because check it out right next to great fortune. You have unexpected money here, unexpected income. See, see that Scorpio, you see this? All of this is next to your energy. This is that pamper energy. This is that valet parking energy, baby. This here is that VIP uh, energy, okay? Scorpio is in the VIP uh, section. Go on in Scorpio with your VIP section set. Look at you. See, you, you're, you're going to start getting, see, I feel like some of you guys are about to really start living in a very lavish, lucrative, abundant lifestyle. Now, if you can't receive this, this is not your reading and that's okay. But for those who have already been manifesting and now you're just waiting on it, because look at a sheen around here looking like no scraggly. No, she's thinking about something good. Like I, like I always say. When I was a kid and we were struggling here and my mom would try to get our mind off of things, she said, girl, y'all get, get up. And, and see, it'd be just, just so amazing because we didn't have a phone at the time. It got shut off. It always got shut off. But that, that'd be one of the mornings that she had prayed and sat at that table with that Bible all night long, wailing and moaning and groaning and speaking in tongues for a breakthrough. And she'd get us up early in the morning. Wake up, wake up. Get up and put your clothes on. Get up and put your clothes on. But mom, nah, uh, get, get up and put your clothes on, girl. But mama ain't nothing. Get up. Nah, I was the, yeah, I was the doubting one because I, I, I had to see it. Didn't nobody else question, but I questioned everything. I'm like, but mama, we, and I always had something to say. And she was always, to, girl, child, just put your clothes on. Get up and put your clothes on. Your daddy coming. And when, when she say my daddy coming, your daddy coming, we're going to buy all the food. She be to sit there and roll out the grocery list. And when I tell you we put our clothes on and we sit right there in that window and we get to waiting and we get to waiting and me old negative, negative Nancy, but mama, he ain't came yet, mama. But you said, go on out there and play, girl. So she make us stop sitting in the window. She make us get out there and play. And as soon as we take our eyes, not our intentions, but our eyes off of it, 
it would happen. And while I'm out there playing, I will always see my daddy car pull up and I get the bucket. Daddy, I'm telling you, that expectation here, you have just cause to be expecting something beautiful, Scorpio, is what Spirit is saying, because you're about to be the privileged lady because you have great fortune and unexpected income coming your way, Scorpio. Now, your next card here says family room. Now, for some of you guys, I feel like an inheritance is coming. It's almost like, you know how you gather together and you read the will or you gather, gather the family together and this this is what I'm getting in the family room. I feel like this somebody's about either there has been some type of ending and somebody's like somebody may have passed on and somebody's going to be sitting in a family room. I see family coming together and you're about to somebody's going to read a will. This is what's going to put you in this position of financial freedom and power. Scorpio, you hear me? See, because spirit wants you to know that because of all of your manifestation and your expectation, this here is a divine gift. You see there? You see, you got a spiritual divine gift coming for you. Somebody is, is about to get some money here and you're about to be very, very wealthy here, Scorpios. Like I say, something is taking place in a family setting here. It could be a courtroom, but it says family room. It could be a, a, a room in the courthouse where they hold these family, uh, you know how they have the, um, the board meetings and stuff like that, but it's just for family here. Somebody's going to be meeting up and discussing some finances that you're about to get, Scorpio. Now, whoever this is for, claim it because spirits say this is your destiny. This is what it's always been about. Finding your way towards your higher self so that you can live a very productive, happy life in this life here. It's not all struggle. Yeah, it seems dark, but you see the light shines in the end anyway. So you're moving str straight to your soul's purpose. Your soul's journey is taking you to a place of fortune and success, Scorpios. So you have just cause to prepare yourself, get your energy right, expect it, especially if you're manifesting. Spirit say this is confirmation for somebody. If you know that some money is owed to you, if you know that some, and some of you guys may not even know, but you may be getting a letter that's talking about, you know, somebody leaving you some money, but somebody's about to get some money here. So let's see. Let's see. <laughs> let's M and F and C, God dang it. Let's see what, what these tarot cards say here. Now we're using the angel messengers tarot today, Scorpios. So you have, oof, seven of air. Ooh, it's overall energy. Seven of swords with the king of air. Ooh, and the page of air. Seven of air, seven of air. That's the seven of swords. It says awareness, caution, consequence. Seven of swords, Leo, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius right next to the king of air. And this king of air says knowledgeable, objective, respected here. Then you have the page of swords. So this is somebody here. Ooh, page of swords here. Somebody's watching, observing you, taking stock. See, and check it out. Now you have the ten of water. Ten of water, ten of cups. I see renewal. Reflection. So this is judgment. Rebirth, or is this death? 20. Wow, Scorpio, see? Straight out the back, you got this air sign. You got Leo energy. You got the 10 of air. Ace of earth, ace of pentacles, and the hermit here. So <laughs> it seems like you may have an air sign here, Scorpio. Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius here, because I know y'all had a lot of air in the comment section in the live here. We make sure this is renewal, is rebirth, is uh, death. So you could be having somebody that wants to come back and work on. It's almost like you got this person really in their head here. Somebody's really in their head about something here. 
Hold on, Scorpio. Let me make sure. Hold on, Scorpios. Get my glasses. Sorry about that, Scorpios. <laughs> Sometimes you got to do what you got to do, Scorpio. Sorry about that. So, renewal. Twenty. Here it is. Renewal. So this has to be death energy here. See, so this is the death energy renewal here, and it could also be. But it says reflection, self-evaluation. So this is judgment here. This is just because you got the trumpet. My bad, y'all. Because you got the trumpet. So this is judgment. See? See, they always be judging themselves here. Scorpio. So somebody is judging the situation. This is your king of swords. Uh, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius here. Somebody is judging the situation after the fact here, Scorpio. Because I feel like there may be an ending. And it may, it don't even have to be that something is over. But somebody is looking at you differently, perhaps. With the Seven of Swords being your overall energy, with the King of Swords and the Page of Swords, this is someone here um, self-reflecting on the things that they have done, okay? Maybe someone has not been honest about something. Maybe someone could have been more open and honest. That's what I'm feeling like. Somebody is looking at themselves like they have been doing wrong. Because you got the Ten of Cups and the Renewal is almost like somebody is looking at themselves and judging themselves for doing you wrong, Scorpio, is what I feel like. And it could be an air sign. All right, Spirit, because you got the only major arcana here is this judgment. That's profound. That's a strong energy. Especially with the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords means that somebody here is almost like this person is judging themselves for what they have done to you. All right, Spirit, what's going on for Scorpio? So some of y'all about to be wealthy anyway, so they better come on. They're going to get left behind here. All right, Spirit, what else for Scorpios? I think I'm going to turn my air on, y'all. Look, look, don't, don't come for me. Oh, snap. <laughs> it never freaking fails, Scorpios. You guys see, you see, you see when love comes, yeah. You better answer to a water. See there? Look at that. See there? <laughs> it says partnership, commitment, reconciliation. There it is. I ain't said that's what the cards say. See? See there? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. It's almost like somebody saying, how could I do my baby Scorpio wrong? Man, shame, 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 shame on me. Because they're observing this connection. They're, they're, it's almost like with the two of cups crowning the two, two of cups crowning the two of cups, the page of swords. It's almost like somebody is looking at this connection and studying it. And now it's making them feel guilty about doing you wrong, okay? I feel like they're feeling guilty because you got the seven of swords here, okay? It's almost like they, you know, it's almost like, how could you do such a thing to angel Scorpios, masculine or feminine? <laughs> oh my God, seven of earth, king of earth. Now you got the king of earth. See, this person could be What is that? High priestess in the res mm, in the reverse. So maybe this person hasn't been honest about something here. So let's see. Let's keep on. Let's see. Spirit, what's going on with this? Eight of water. Walking away. Eight of water. Wow. Mm -mm. See, I feel like once again, you walk away, then it's going to make them start talking. They go to Queen of Earth. <laughs> Crap. Oh, 
Oh, snap. The queen of earth and the knight of water here. Sun. Now, I wonder where you at. I wonder if you're the queen of earth. Some of y'all about to be the queen of pentacles because you got the privileged lady next to great fortune. Mm. Now, I just seen the king of pentacles. Now, I seen the queen of pentacles. See? Oof. One of those... Intense readings, Scorpios. One of these very intense readings is what I feel. Ten of fire. Ten of wands. Overloaded, burned down here. Look at them. Exhausted. Mm, mm, mm. I wonder why. Mm. Because of three of air, sorrow, forgiveness, healing, three of swords. Wow. I wonder, is it, a, I'm going to take it, y'all. Let's just see. It is, it is what it is. It's be, be like this sometimes, Scorpios. Oh, my gosh. Here, Scorpio. So... The only major arcana you have in here, but you got powerful all telling energy. You got the judgment. It's like somebody's going to have to figure out what they or, or, or somebody is judging themselves for the actions that they played. Could have been somebody hiding their emotions, could have been somebody not being honest about something here. Someone is burdened by what they see. You got. Ten of air. It's a ten of swords. Now it's ten of wands. Crown of the ten of wands is judgment. Crown of the judgment is the king of air. So this person is burdened down, okay, because of them having to self-reflect and to really observe and really hold account of what's really going on and in the part that they played, I feel like. Mm. Ooh, Scorpio, 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 see? You know, karma happens to us all here. You don't really have to worry if folks going to get it back here. I feel like somebody may have not been honest with you. And I feel like they're having a hard time dealing with it, especially if you have walked away. Because somebody walked away. You got the eight of cups. Crowning the eight of cups is the ten of cups. Crowning the ten of cups is the seven of swords. So somebody is walking away from something here. You got the three of swords, crown of three of swords is the two of cups, crown of the two of cups, crown of the two of cups is a page of swords. So someone here, it's almost like someone is looking at the situ is looking at the problems that they caused. OK, I feel like somebody is looking at the problems that they created by being deceptive here. That's what I feel like. And they don't like it because they're having a hard time with it. Okay, that's, that's what I feel like. Somebody is dealing with a deception that they created, which caused an ending here, and they're not dealing with it well. See, justice. Mm, mm, mm. So you have the seven of fire, excuse me, seven of swords, king of swords, page of swords, three of swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. You have the ten of cups, Page of Cups, excuse me, Ten of Cups, Eight of Cups, Two of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, Ten of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, and Renewal, Taurus Energy, Justice, excuse me, Renewal is Judgment. Mm, mm, mm. Well, at least you got the Ten of Cups, Eight of Cups, and the Two of Cups, so see, there is mutual love here. But I feel like somebody wasn't being honest about it, and I feel like I just feel like somebody made a mess of things and now they, they may be taking it hard here. So let's start off with the seven of swords here, which is your overall energy. The seven of swords with the king of swords, Leo, Libra, Gemini and Aquarius, because it started off with air, 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 seven of swords, king of swords, page of swords. So this is someone here who I feel like, like I said, is finding themselves, holding themselves accountable because 
with the self-reflection here, being honest, they don't, they're not looking so good. Okay. All right. Seven of swords for Scorpio. Why is the seven of swords here for Scorpio? Let's clarify the seven of swords. Why is the seven of swords here? Seven of swords. Mm, see, told you them ancestors on them, huh? Their conscience on their tail. See there? See, I told you, see? Seven of swords clarified by the freaking nine of swords. You think they ain't on one mentally? Oh, yeah. It's, see, somebody's been di being dishonest here. Or someone is, re see? Now, I don't know if this is past energy or if this is somebody being dishonest about something now. So let's see. But I know they're not having a good time. They're not, they're not dealing with it. Seven of swords. Anytime that king of swords show up, it's always swords. The strength card, because I feel like somebody needs the courage. Or someone is trying to resist this. See, there it is again. They go to ten of wands. So it's almost like I feel like someone here is self-reflecting, but someone may be trying to fight, fight it. Someone may be actually trying to fight the guilt that they are dealing with. I feel like this is what it is. Somebody's trying to fight the guilt, child, but it, they can't because it's all over them. Spirit then illuminated somebody's downfall or someone's uh, a deception here, and they're trying to resist it and fight it, but it's all clear. See, Spirit making sure somebody actually see themselves for who they are and for what they really did. And I feel like they don't like it and they're trying to deny it and resist it, but it's everywhere. They can't sleep at night. See, they can't sleep at night. Some of y'all dealing with a Leo. All right, now you got the King of Swords. Lib Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. Spirit, what's up with this King of Swords for Scorpio? Why is the King of Swords here for Scorpio? Spirit, clarify. Because I don't see you yet, Scorpio, unless this, I, don't, I, don't, I doubt the King of Swords is you. Now, ooh, now look, now they go to King of Cups. Maybe this is what they were being dishonest about. Ain't that something? Oh my God, y'all. I think somebody was being dishonest about their feelings for you. King of Cups, Ten of Cups, see? <laughs> this is what it is. This King of Swords was being dishonest about their feelings. Whether it's a Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, this person wasn't as cold as you thought they were on you, Scorpio. It's just that they hid it well. Now, the problem is, why are they hiding it? Because this person, I feel like, been trying to hide that they in love with you, Scorpio, and that they want everything that you want. See, because Spirit and I already showed them, see? And I feel like it happened when you walked away because they're not over it, but this is it. Seven of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Somebody here is really trying to resist what they already feel in their heart, but it's a burden to them. Trying to hide and trying to deny and deceive their own emotions. There's somebody trying to deceive their own self, but their heart is telling off on them. Wow. Because spirit did not already show this person. But once again, this person been trying to resist it and fight it off, but they can't get it off of them because it's on them. <laughs> They've been tagged by Scorpio's love. God dang it. All of the lies and deception. They tried to act like they didn't want spirit. So they already been in love. It's just that they were determined not to show it or to give in. See, and even though they've been trying to resist this connection, it's been a burden on them ever since because now it's stressing them out. See that? <laughs> they ain't sleeping. <laughs> They're not sleeping here. See, King of Swords. Look at all that ice around there. The whole time they are just, look, they ain't, they ain't that icy. But they don't want you to know this, Scorpio. I wonder why they don't want you to know. Ooh, it's almost like somebody does not want you to know that they're in love with you. Because maybe this person feels like they're going to get hurt. You got the page of swords here, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. Now, this is somebody here who is inquiring, someone here who is 
watching you, observing you, uh, trying to figure things out. See, this is what it is because you got the hermit car here. They're not, see, it's almost like what somebody feels, they're not trusting what they feel. So they're denying it. Okay. Because this page of swords is looking directly at this two of cups. It's almost like somebody may not want to, somebody may be denying it because they may not know if you feel the same in this two of cups because there's two people here. You see the king, where's the queen? So it's almost like, now it could very well be for you masculine Scorpios. You, you got your game face on because you don't want to get hurt in this three of swords energy. But lo and behold, you've been feeling this person the whole time. But, but the reason why you're not open with it is because you're not sure about how they feel. See, you, you want to know here because you wide open. You probably already caught feelings for this person, even though you've been hiding it. But deep down inside, you care about this person and you want to know, do they feel the same way? I feel like that's why some of y'all or some of y'all person has been hiding this because if you walked away from them and you're no longer showing them anything, I feel like number one, this person was always in love with you. But I feel like now they're having to admit it to themselves. And I feel like they resisted it as long as they could. Now it's right in their face. But the dilemma now is, do you feel the same way? Because I feel like somebody's afraid that they're going to get hurt, Scorpio. That, that's what I feel. I feel like they're afraid that they're going to get hurt. Now you got the Page of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Spirit, what's up with the Page of Swords for Scorpios? Oh my God, Scorpio. Because see, you got the Page of Swords looking at the Two of Cups, looking at the Three of Swords. Now it could very well be that there's another person involved here. But let's see, page of swords for Scorpio. Why is the page of swords here? Page of swords, see? <laughs> Four of pentacles here. Now see, I feel like this person's been trying to hold back until they know for sure that you feel the same way. Now it could also represent this person is keeping tabs on you because you didn't already walk away and they're still holding on to you. See, look at that king of swords. <laughs> Y'all, these cards tripping. Look. <laughs> Look at they looking asses. Look at them. <laughs> and see this person here. I feel like this person was trying to deny what spirit and already showed them with the sun card here. <laughs> but I feel like they already know it, but they don't believe it. Or they're afraid to accept it. So here this person is steady trying to figure out here. Everything has to be logical. They have to make sense of it. This is why they're watching you and observing you and gathering your information and trying to figure you out. Because like I say, this is somebody here who I feel like had already fell in love with you, but they dare not let you know because it's almost like it's a burden to them because they're like, what if you're not in love with them? Especially if they've been in the King of Swords energy here, Scorpio. If they've been hiding it and resisting it and you don't walk away. Maybe it was a third party here, but if you was walking away because they seem uninterested, heck yeah. And now did <laughs> this somebody admitting to themselves that they are in love with you? This is like this person is on one here. I can't believe that king of swords. All right, spirit, the page of swords, the four of pentacles. Two of swords. See, it's something that they're not seeing. See? Or this could be this person in denial, not wanting to see it. Could be, see, it could be this person here saying to themselves, I'm going to hold back until I gather more information. But because somebody, see, somebody's stubborn. So it could be an Aquarius or Leo, but you got this air energy here. See, it could be a Libra. <laughs> Because this person is saying they do not want to get hurt. This is somebody here who don't want to fall in love by themselves, Scorpios. And I know this is going to be a shocker. But it's like this King of Swords has somebody fooled. See there? Because this is somebody here who I feel like feels like you have way much more control over them than you probably even know. This is why they have been trying to resist this. 
but it's doing them no good because like I said, they want to know. They, they, somebody want to know. All right, Spirit, the Two of Cups. Cancel Scorpio and Pisces. Spirit, what's up with this Two of Cups? Mm. Nine of Pentacles. Now, they could be looking at you like you're single. This is probably why this person may not see. And then they could be single. You got the full card. Some of y'all dealing with an Aries. And they go to Seven of Pentacles. But there, this person is not sure about it. Mm. See, I feel like this part. Oh, wow, y'all. Whoever your person is, Scorpio, thinks that maybe, like I feel like whoever this is for, you, you would have had to have been using your intuition dealing with this person because you can't read them based on what they show you or what they don't show you. You have to be tapped in spiritually in order to get what is being said or not said because there is things being said even when there's nothing being said. There are things being done even when there's not things being done. You get it? So this is somebody here who's saying, now this could be somebody here who's looking at you saying that maybe you're out here. Somebody's taking stock. They may feel like if they uh, open themselves up and become vulnerable, that maybe there may be another person involved with the lovers in the Ace of Cups. And then it could also say that this person want you with the lovers card. Like I feel like an ace of cups person already gone on you. Now it could represent this person saying here. That you are a good catch in this nine of pentacles and they're wanting to, you know, do something that they have never done before. Wow. Scorpio spirit. Why is the two of cups here? Hmm. Mm. Death, there it is again. You got judgment. You there go your other major. You got Libra, Virgo, Aries, Taurus, and Scorpio. See? Now it could represent that the reason why this person is feeling this way is because this person may be looking at you like you single and you out here living your life here. And you not you done ended things with them, but you you out here look look at the energy. It's almost like they looking at their other half go out here and you a good catch. They feel like you're more daring, you're bold. You go out there, you take risks, you live in your life here. But I feel like there is an ending between the two of you. So maybe what this person is, a, and this person may be looking at you like you're guarded towards them. Ooh, Scorpio, you could be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio. Spirit, what's up with this two of cups for Scorpio and their person here? What's up with this two of cups? Clarify two of cups. Death and the three of pentacles. See, I feel like this person feels like you may be off with somebody else focusing on yourself. See, so that's you, the queen of pentacles. See, and then it could also represent. Oh, see. Could also represent. Check it out. That this is your your this person coming to you single. Wanting to take this leap of faith. After putting a end to some type of partnership with the Queen of Pentacles, check it out. Because there go that Seven of Swords again. And the freaking Eight of Cups. So it could also represent that your person is putting an end with a Queen of Pentacles here. See, this could have been something that they were being dishonest about too. Ooh, Scorpios, Scorpios. So you have the two of cups, nine of pentacles. See, I feel like they coming to you single, Scorpio. Now here it is. Somebody may have been trying to suppress their feelings because they had another situation going on for other people. And for other people, this person is looking at you like you could break their heart here, okay? If they become vulnerable and open up their emotions to you, okay? So let's see this three of swords and put the three of cups, three of pentacles back. You got two of cups, nine of pentacles, the fool, and death. Now you have the three of swords. All right, Spirit, why is the three of swords here for Scorpios? 
Mm. Five of swords. There go some more swords. <laughs> I tell you, anytime I see this king of swords, I know it's going to be swords in here. Because this is somebody here who is in their head here. Three of swords because of some type of manipulation being done. Somebody winning at all costs here. All right, spirit, three of swords. Two of pentacles here, see? This person could have been juggling another situation here, Scorpios. See, then there they go. See? Now here this person is. I feel like this person wants you. You got the, see, you got lovers and the ace of cups. So it's almost like, once again, Scorpios, check it out. Whoever your person is, was not cheating on you. They were not deceiving you. They were deceiving someone else, okay? Yeah, they were deceiving someone else to be with you. It's what I feel like here. Because I feel like this is what they're saying. This person had to have you playing mind games. Some of y'all may have not known this person has another situation. But they clearly choose you with the lovers and this ace of cups. It's just that this person don't know how you feel about them with this queen of swords. Feel like some of y'all giving this person a cold shoulder because maybe you found out this person who's a, who wasn't who you thought they were. So what's up with this judgment card for Scorpios? Taurus energy. Clarify judgment for Scorpios. Could be dealing with a Libra. Scorpio, Aries, Libra, Taurus. Taurus. Yep, those are your majors here. All right, spirit renewal. Judgment. Why is this here for Scorpios? Clarify judgment. Four of cups. I feel like somebody is having to finally self-reflect because somebody really is not happy or is not happy in their life like things are, okay? See? There they go again. So this is causing this person to evaluate the relationship that they're in, whether it's with or just their life in general, including the people that's involved, because this person is not happy. See, now this person is trying to figure out what is best for them, because somebody is realizing that whatever situation they're in, it's almost like this person may be in a third party here, but they're not happy. Somebody not happy. Somebody's not happy. Because somebody is thinking about moving in a different direction. And like, I feel like it's to you because you got the lovers in the ace of cups. All right, spirit. Judgment for Scorpios. See? The world card. This person's realizing they're going to have to do something with their life. Close out a chapter, whether it's with you or with somebody else here. See? Close out the chapter. Look at that Knight of Wands. Ooh, and they go to Queen of Wands in the reverse. Check it out now. See, they trying to move away from this. Now, maybe this is, was you. Maybe this was how they were at you, but this is a toxic energy here. They're moving away from, they're trying to move away from it. They're moving away from it. And they may be moving in silence. See? This could have been something that they was not telling you that they're trying to move away or that they are moving away from another situation here. So, see, this is somebody here who has finally had to address their life because they're in love. Love is making this person uh, finally address their life because they're not happy. And they cannot be with you. You done walked away, I feel like, or you done put an end to it. But now they're still realizing that they're not happy. So now this person's trying to figure out. I feel like this person was trying to decide who was the best one for them. But I feel like this person knows. They're closing out a chapter with this energy, whatever this is about here. And moving on. And I feel like they're doing it low key. I feel like this is something maybe they're not telling you. Maybe this is what it is. Seven of Swords. 
Ten of Swords. Maybe this will stress in them out. See, they go to Ten of Wands because it became a burden to this person. Because I feel like this person been trying to resist you, but they got this other situation that they're dealing with. So it's almost like this person trying to hold back their emotions and, and their feelings for you, but they're still stuck in a dilemma here because it's a burden here that they created. Got the seven of swords. So it's like what, like I say, whatever they were doing is it, not working. It's haunting them. But at the same time, I feel like it's also pushing somebody to finally make up their mind here if they want to be happy because somebody ain't happy with that four cups. So you got the ten of wands. Spirit, what's up this ten of wands for Scorpios? Ten of wands twice, see? Nine of cups. It is a burden to this person once again because they want somebody else. Knight of cups. And I feel like this is a realization and a tower moment that this person is having. This is a tower moment that they're having. It's what spirit is saying. Your person, your, your person having a tower moment. But that's the only way it's going to get them so that they can be happy. Now, what they choose after that is up to them. But at least it's almost like they're wiping the, the slate clean here because you got the world card. They're closing out karmic cycles here. See, this is an upright, but that's in the reverse. They're closing this out. Whatever this was about here. Roaming these streets, you know, just just messing around, nothing serious. Because this person is self-reflecting, realizing that they're not happy. Whew. This person realizing that their relationship had become a burden to them. Because they want to be emotionally fulfilled. And they know who makes them happy. And like I said, this is this is this is shock. This is going to be a shocker to everybody because <laughs> something had to come down in order for this person to go after their happiness is what spirit is saying. They got Scorpio energy here. See, this person's coming out of illusions. Person's coming out of the illusion that they had created. See. Feel like somebody was stuck in a situation for a long time, Scorpio, and they really wasn't happy. And they probably was stepping outside of that relationship because they wasn't happy, but they stayed in it. And then here you come along, they fall in love, but they can't have you. They can't give you what you deserve, what you desire, because they're already in something. So you have to leave it in order for them to make up their mind, okay? And that's what I see. So now you have the Eight of Cups. All right, Spirit, what's up with the Eight of Cups for Scorpios? Because this person has messed around and found somebody who they're in love with, with this Two of Cups, okay? So you got the Eight of Cups. I see the Seven of Cups. Somebody's walking away from options and walking away from illusions here. Eight of Cups. This could be you, could be them. The moon. So this is more like you. You walking away from the lies and the, the secrets, the hidden things, because some of y'all feel like this person probably was being dishonest anyway and hiding things because we saw the high priestess. But it's like they want to make it up to you because they're realizing that they done created a whole problem because they're out here being reckless here. So this is why somebody here, this is why the tower had to happen. See? Three of cups and the devil. See, there it is. This, this, this what either you're walking away from this or they're walking away from the third parties with this toxic connection here. See, it was it, it see could be a Capricorn. See, because somebody needs to uh, detox, heal themselves here, balance, bring bring balance. Somebody could have been some type of uh, with the Knight of Wands. Somebody could have been all about passion. Okay, till they got stuck. With this type of living, three of cups, third party, just for intimacy. But like I said, to somebody's closing out this chapter. But I feel like you walked away from this person because you felt like this person was toxic and hiding things. And once again, it could have been them walking away from that lifestyle. Because like I say, they got judgment. They're, they're self-reflecting. They're ending things because they're not happy. 
So now you have your last card, the Ten of Cups. Spirit, what's up, the Ten of Cups? You got the Ten of Cups twice. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is temperance, see? And judgment. And the Six of Cups, see? They coming back to you. This is who they want. This is who they want, because you got, let me tell you how I know this is what they want. Because you got the king of swords that's been hiding their emotions. When they're in love with you, the king of cups and the ten of cups. But this person had to soul search. This person had to pray. This person needs to do some, some shadow work because they were in toxic energy once again. Now, it could also represent, Scorpio, for some of y'all, you may have been this queen of wands. And they were acting in the night of wands here, not wanting to commit, but just trying to make you a friends with benefit type of energy. Why this person out here roaming the streets with other situations, too. But like I feel like this person's whole perspective has changed. Now this person's thinking about commitments now. Because I feel like somebody didn't want to settle down. I feel like somebody was cold, detached, and they, they was going to do their they thing. They were going to give as less as possible. Ten of Cups, Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, Judgment. There it is, self-reflecting. Now, this could be somebody self-reflecting about their childhood that was damaging to them, too. See, either somebody is thinking about their home life from their childhood that has them in this devil energy, or once again, this is somebody here who had to self-reflect and judge the situation and decide which direction they want and what they want. And they want this with you, because like I say, you got the King of Cups with the Ten of Cups. Somebody wants this with you, Scorpios, and it's unfortunate that it's really not unfortunate because usually you have to, it's going to come down. You, you can't try to build upon a rocky foundation. You can't put something new in something old. So you got the three of fire. This is future planning, waiting on your ships to come in here. Um, what else for Scorpio and this person? Fire energy. The world completions, new opportunities here. Person could be traveling from around the world here. But I feel like there's some cycles that's been closed off here. And now you have the king of fire, king of wands. So this person is passionate here. See, and now they, they go to awakening again. See? See, this person's going through a spiritual awakening, y'all. And I know it keeps showing up, but this is what some of y'all people are finally going through spiritual awakening so that they can have a fresh start. Because some of your, your people, your soulmates, you could be with them, but they got to clean it up first. It's like you're meeting your soulmates at a time when they're going through their major shifting and growing and, uh, you know, deciding what they want in life. And it just seems like you're getting the worst part of them. But for some of y'all, you're about to get the best part of them if you still want them. Because I feel like this person is doing a complete change. The problems that were in your relationship at first are not going to be in your relationship now because they are making the change because they happen to really be in love with you. So this is your reading, Scorpio. If it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for your views. Thank you so much for your participation. Thank you for your support in any and every positive way that you do the thing that you do so well. It is indeed truly appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Scorpios. And until the next video, Scorpio, I will talk to you on the next video. Bye, Scorpio.